evening campers. We are in Washington State on Interstate 82. Specifically, we are coming up on Yakima, Washington, which is uh, a town we, we visited a few times, uh, this town. We've got a customer not far from here that we pick up from sometimes that does apples, mostly. Um, we've got a couple customers around this city. Uh, they're all produce related. If you check out on the right, you'll see a whole bunch of containers uh, lined up on the old highway as we go through Union Gap here, which is this little uh, slot through the mountains that the river does, those containers are a, uh, they're an emergency uh, preparedness thing for um, that whole entire hillside uh, it became slightly unstable about a year ago. <laughs> and started, uh, started to slide and they thought they were gonna have to close I-82 for a bit. So they put those containers down to, to catch the to catch the the rock slide should it go whole hog down toward the highway and it never did so they you know they mostly reopened the road. 80, 82 is completely open. I don't I don't think that road that goes in front of it that has all the containers on it. I don't think that one's open again yet. Not that there's a whole lot of use for that road just because where it's located, but. Uh, yeah, this is Yakima, Washington. It's a little town on US 97, old US 97, kind of goes right through the middle of town. Uh, and then this is the part where uh, Interstate 82 meets up with and follows the route of old Highway 97 up to Ellensburg, where uh, 82 ends at Interstate 90. And then 97 continues up to like Wenatchee and stuff. So, this is the freeway bypass that is now US 97, uh, but uh, it is it is a lovely little town. It's it's going to be in the new the new Washington DLC for American Truck Simulator, which I'm actually like legit excited to see how they represent this city in that because you know we've come here a good chunk a good chunk of times uh, a good many times. There's a, a kind of unique truck stop in this town called the Gear Jammer Auto Truck Plaza. Dude in front of us is slowing down. That's always great. Love it when people get in front of me and then don't do the speed limit. I'm not doing the speed limit, so if you actually slow down enough that my truck has to adjust for it, that's a bad sign. Maybe you shouldn't have passed me, you know? <laughs> we're we're slow pokes, you know? Of course you're getting cruise control off for a minute so my truck doesn't slam on the brakes for the guy slowing down for the off-ramp. Alright, cool. We're not looking at him anymore. There we go. I've got my radar screen up. Uh-oh. Alright, let's move over for the big truck on the ramp. I don't know how much of a merge lane he's got. We're going to give him the whole right lane. That's the gear jammer on the left. Probably going to end up in American Truck Simulator, I assume. They love putting the unique named truck stops into the games. That actually had a lot of run-up space that the guy could have used. But you can't really trust, uh, you can't trust people getting on the highway not to just jump straight into the right lane, even when they do have a really long merge lane to use for accelerating. So moving over there was still probably the right idea. Peterbilt dealership, bunch of uh, prefab home places, so you get some oversized loads come out of here a lot. Uh, it's a neat little town, neat little town, a lot of produce places out on the edge of town, um, a lot of industries inside town. It is surprising, it is surprising. We have uh, the company Wilson Logistics that I drive for, that owns Jim Palmer Trucking, uh, they have a large facility here in town, uh, the old Haney Terminal. When we bought up Haney Trucking, we inherited their old facilities, you know, so we've got, I think, our entire Pacific Northwest fleet uh, that is what used to be Haney, but is now Wilson Logistics P&W, is uh, based out of the Yakima Haney Terminal, which is around here somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is. I haven't been to this one yet. 
But it is here. It is definitely here. I wonder if that like neat little sun thing on that bridge will be in American Truck Simulator. That would be a cool one for them to put in. The engine shop. There's so much cool stuff in this town. And like all we ever do is we cut straight through town to get to the Apple place on the west side. And then uh, we come back to the truck stop where the cat scale is. <laughs> This is all I ever do in this town. I never get to explore the rest of it, which is kind of funny to me. It's just like 82 and then that one road that goes out to the farm. <laughs> we are at least consistent in our approach to this land, this lovely, lovely city. But yeah, we are headed up to Seattle for delivery tonight. I don't know what we're doing afterwards. I need to take like a day off soon to do taxes because it is the end of end of Q2 today or uh, next week, not today. <laughs> that would be bad. That would be very bad if, I, if it was already the end of Q2. But um, now the end of Q2 is coming up very soon. Uh, so I mean, it, the end of Q2 was like, actually like May 31st, but like tax day for Q2 is coming up. So I've got to pay my estimated quarterly taxes. We've only, only, only just recovered from paying last year's annual taxes. Um, so, you know, a little bit stressful, but once, once we get the tax thing, like, caught up in a head, we'll be good. We just, you know, didn't appropriately plan for that last year. Also, better tracking of the stuff that we can claim as expenses. So that's good. That's very good. Hello, little car. Please go faster. It's weird, my radar does not see that car. There it is. Okay, we're good. They are going faster than me. That, that was straight. Nope, there it's gone again. That is so strange. That that little that little white car is like invisible to my radar. Oh, we're back. Okay, cool. They exist. <laughs> they must have like a big bug hit my radar or something. Because they I mean, so many bug splatters on the windshield. It's hopefully not too many in front of the camera, but I'm sure there's plenty. I'm sure there are plenty. So yeah, we are 35 miles from the end of I-82. Uh, actually, 32 miles from the end of I-82. And then we will be going over Snoqualmie Pass to Seattle. So I really have no idea what all is going to be on, uh, I don't know what all is going to be on American Truck Simulator's Washington map. I know Yakima is gonna be in it, Seattle, Wenatchee and Spokane. I don't think anything between Wenatchee and Seattle is going to be in the game. Wow, that guy just totally cut off that four-wheeler. That was close to an accident. <laughs> Love when people cut each other off in front of me. That could have been bad. Um, yeah, so there, I don't think there's anything in between Wenatchee and Spokane. So I don't really know. I know the Grand Coulee Dam is, is in the game. So obviously that road to get there from Wenatchee will be present. Which we've done that drive before, but we only, we passed the dam in the middle of the night, so we haven't seen too much of it. But uh, I don't know if there's going to be anything along I-90 from I-82 to, uh, to Spokane in the video game. That'd be weird, right? to have all that empty, because it's like, there's a huge chunk of Washington there. That is most of the state. To not have any cities in it, it's a little bit odd. I don't like this part of the highway where there's just nothing but guardrail right next to me. There we go, we're good. That little bridge is very, very claustrophobic. <laughs> So now we're in Sela, Washington, which is where uh, our other customers in this area are. Maybe it's Salah, I don't know. But there's a, a couple other uh, produce warehouses in and around this general vicinity. And then we're about to climb up and over the uh, mm, Umtanum, I think. I think it's called the Umtanum Ridge, the uh, the mountains between here and 
uh, between here and Ellensburg? I don't know. I honestly don't know. It, it, it's like U M T A N U M. It's got two like relative peaks, uh, and then a small saddle between them that the highway drops into. There's a road that just stays along the river that just goes straight through, but that's not uh, not a fast route. So we typically go over the mountain on this road. And also during the summer, trucks are simply not allowed on that road. Uh, we're allowed to use it in winter to avoid uh, to avoid bad weather conditions on the mountain ridge itself. But it's not uh, it's not a situation I've ever encountered myself. I've never had to take the old highway in the valley instead of going up and over the mountains here. It is an option, I know. I've seen the signs at least. They sell apple cider down there. <laughs> one of those, uh, I'm sure one of those places that believes apple cider vinegar is a miracle cure for everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's an odd conspiracy theory that has popped up in the USA that I do not understand, but I've had, you know, lots of friends uh, absorb that particular, uh, that particular bit of pseudoscience. And there's like, there's people that think apple cider vinegar can cure cancer. Can you believe that? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, this is where many, many apples come from. And so presumably this is where all of the all of the delicious cancer curing apple cider vinegar comes from as well. At least a lot of it in America. <laughs> it's uh, remarkably close to a place called the Hanford site, which you know, plenty of cancer from that, I assume. If only we could make Yakima and the Hanford site trade, uh, they could they could import the cancer to Yakima, and Yakima can give the Hanford site the apple cider vinegar and then everyone's happy or I guess not not happy I don't know <laughs> that's not how that works I don't think disclaimer apple cider vinegar does not cure cancer <laughs> just want to throw that out there and make sure that my opinion on that is uh, crystal clear because <laughs> you know you can't be too sure anymore <laughs> But yeah, so uh, we're going to head up and over the mountain here, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. I have no idea what our next load is yet. I don't know. We're delivering in the middle of the night tonight, and then we are headed uh, to the Wilson Yard to park. So we'll hang out with some of the heavy haul folks at Will Pack, and then uh, Will Pack is the name of that yard. Um, Wilson Logistics Pacific Washington Will Pack. Um, and yeah, that's where I will be tonight, possibly ordering pizza, possibly not. We've already definitely hit our calorie limit for today. <laughs> as far as the, as far as the, uh, calorie limiting the ingestibles is, consu is concerned, I have, I have reached my maximum. It's getting a little foggy out here. This is kind of odd. Usually the fog goes away as you climb. Maybe we're like popping up into a, uh, popping up into a cloud. I don't know. Speaking of clouds, uh, there's a new Microsoft Flight Simulator game coming next year, which is exciting. They announced that right before I started driving today. So, yay! And apparently, I did. I know it sounds like a pun, but it's actually very heavily cloud-based as far as computers uh, go. Uh, it uses a lot of cloud-based computing for rendering, um, rendering buildings and stuff based on satellite imagery. So that's very cool. Uh, that is uh, the Microsoft Azure platform of cloud-based computing, which I, I'm partial to just for the name because that was like I had I had the name Azure on many many things, <laughs> and then Microsoft started taking them, and I could not use them, um, <laughs> which is funny. Um, yeah, it's a very well-named cloud computing system. And I think a, a flight simulator game based on cloud computing just is, it's too perfect. And they haven't made the pun yet at all, which is disappointing to me. It's like, it's right there. It's right there. Reach out and touch it, Microsoft. Reach out, reach out and touch cloud-based computing. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Ellie O'Dair, Azaranger17 on Twitch.tv. Ellie O'Dare everywhere else. Uh, you can find me 
on the Twitters, at Ellie O'Dare on Xbox Live, Steam, um, YouTube, uh, at, uh, well, YouTube is WX Azure, but you've already found me on YouTube. Uh, but, you know, if you want to, like, share my YouTube channel, the super easy way to do that is to just share Eliodare.com because that redirects to my YouTube channel. I did that. The thing that you can do... <laughs> much easier than my actual YouTube URL, so yeah, that's that's a thing, that's, that's a real thing. We're climbing the mountain now, I will see you guys in the next video, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye! Also, welcome back, Allie Knight, I missed you. Thank you so much for coming back. <laughs> so now, now that Allie is back, you know, the rest of y'all are not allowed to tell me to be more like Allie, that's not allowed, ever. You got Allie back. I don't need to be Allie. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad she's back. <laughs>